Hello, traveler. Welcome to my humble abode. Please help yourself to the food. You must be famished. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Mago, at your service. I'm doing this because I've suffered the unforgiving trials of the waste. I have felt terrible, crippling hunger that pushes a man beyond reason. I discovered this shelter in one of my countless peregrinations, and in the course of time I've set out to create an oasis of philanthropy. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't do that. My hospitality does require limits, thanks to the barbarous nature of the wasteland. I must detain you for several hours as a precaution. Please, relax and help yourself to a hot meal. If you're still determined to leave after dining, just convey your request over the intercom. I hope you enjoy the rest, friend. What can I do for you? You've been an exceedingly amicable guest, but I'm afraid I cannot meet your request. I have other plans, you see. Ah, you're awake. You're even more vigorous than I had anticipated. Very good. You're in a cell in my bunker. I'm afraid this is the end of the line, my friend. It's a matter of survival, really. What can I say? The Wasteland really brings out that war of all against all quality. Well, you possess copacetic powers of observation. Yes, I'm a cannibal and a long-lived one, thank you. I'm rather proud of that fact. I've been capturing and eating preachy fools like you for decades. What makes you think you're any different? Take a look at Bob over there. He was a spirited lawman from town, hell-bent on finding his brother's murderer. A few nights ago, Bob bashed his head in against the floor in order to avoid the fate of his brother and so many others. Where's the justice in that? By every indication, Bob was an honest, brave soul who died with pride. Yet, I'm still standing here. Don't talk to me about justice. In a few minutes, you're going to be silent. Meaningless fodder for my survival. There's your justice. Got you now. <laughs> 